Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber on the planet, and he is creating the world's first real life Squid Game. Two days ago, I got a phone call from Mr. Beast asking if I could help him create Squid Games in real life for his video. You're recreating all six games. It's going to be insane. Arguably our biggest video ever. Dude, I heard about that. That's gonna be so cool. How can I help? My problem is we realized it's gonna cost over two million dollars, and building it is extremely difficult. Be careful. We're risking breaking this thing right now. So I agreed to help Mr. Beast out and build him the giant robot doll from Squid Game. Only problem is he needs it in 13 days. Holy crap. That looks terrifying. We actually have bad news though. What? Which means only one thing. Time to go to Home Depot to gather the materials for the giant robot girl. And we only have two weeks to do it. Dude, that's like a three month build. And it's for Mr. Beast so we cannot let him down. It's gonna take a long time. We have no idea how we're gonna build this, but I promise Mr. Beast they would look amazing. Hopefully I don't let him down. That would be bad. Good luck. Now that we have the materials, we instantly started planning. What concerns us the most is the intricate sculpting this project requires. We have zero experience sculpting, dude. We're engineers, we're not artists. Yeah, this thing is not gonna look perfect. After hours of brainstorming, I remembered one of my friends from Canada is an amazing artist and has done countless sculpting projects. Hey, what's up, Matthew? How's it going? Hey, um, I have a question for you. Can I fly you to Colorado tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Are you serious? After a quick flight to America, Ben instantly started creating a 3D model of the Squid Game robot. This process took took over 23 hours. Now that the model is created, he sliced it all into 150 separate pieces on the computer program. We will then take the 150 pieces from the computer and then print them out so we can use them to trace the shapes onto a foam board. He doesn't like to stop working. We have to feed him while he works. Ben is one of the hardest working people I've ever met and actually we're really similar. Ben, when's the last time you drank soda? I don't know, like 15 years ago? Uh oh. Okay, so maybe we're not too much alike, but now it's time to start cutting the foam into shape. The pieces are fully cut, now it's time to stack it and see how it looks. That does not look like the doll. <laughs> it's just upside down. I trust you, let's let's stack it up, All okay? Right. This technique of stacking 150 separate pieces was really the key that helped us crack the giant scale of the doll. But it's not done, we still gotta sand. While Ben was sanding, we ran into another problem. Dude, I still don't know how we're gonna make the head turn. Mr. B said the doll has to have a movable head, just like the show, which is extremely difficult. It has the motherboard connected, we have the battery inside, and then this part is gonna be inside the head. And then here's the remote. Be careful, it might fly off. Don't do anything. Time to start over. Attempt number two. It's not working again, but I promise it worked a second ago. <laughs> Nothing is going right. While Cordova works on the head mechanics, we ran into a problem sanding the foam. Here's Ben to explain more. So I noticed that it started burning the foam, so I had to be really careful. So I've been using this blade for the past 10 hours. Because the sander burns the foam, Ben has to use this small knife to carve out all the details. Now it's gonna take triple the amount of time. Sculpting the doll is extremely difficult. It's 10 foot tall and there's a ton of small details. And since it's for Mr. Beast video, it has to be perfect. We are so screwed. We have no time left. It's day six and we're finally ready to paint. We have a lot to paint. And it has to be done in five hours. Let's go. The reason we have to finish in five hours is because our friend is leaving to drive the doll across the country to Mr. Beast so he can start filming his video with it. What happened? Snapped off. While prepping the hand for paint, the finger broke. We literally have to drive this to North Carolina in 30 minutes. I know, what are you gonna do? I decided to send my sister to Walmart while we continued to paint. <laughs> Registers literally close in five minutes. Our friend has to leave in 15 minutes. We need this glue. The registers close in two minutes. Okay, we gotta go. Luckily, Cheyenne purchased the glue in time and we could start to repair the finger. I hope that finger holds up. I rushed to finish painting the hand. Brian's here. Already? This hand's still wet. I continue to paint while the boys loaded up the parts. We got the minivan all loaded up with a bunch of bubble wrap, so hopefully nothing breaks. Now it's time to drive across the country to Mr. Beast. Wait, Brian, before you go, you need to be wearing proper attire. Uh, 69. Good luck, buddy. While Brian drove the doll to North Carolina, he was having a lot of fun with the giant hand. Hi, bud. It was time for me and the team to fly to North Carolina and meet him. Have a wonderful day. Yo, where are we heading? Mr. Beast's house. <laughs> We made it to North Carolina, now it's time to head to Mr. Beast's warehouse and surprise him. After hundreds of hours of work, we can finally surprise Mr. Beast. Hey Matt, I'm still not 100% sure that the head's even gonna turn. What do you mean? We're on our way to Jimmy's. There's like a 50-50 chance. We're in, let's do it. Once we arrived, we started unloading the doll. Each piece of the doll is extremely fragile. We have to be very careful when we move it inside not to break anything. <laughs> All right, now for the hard part. We have actually never officially stand this all together, so hopefully it fits. Let's do it. These things have concrete in them. They're extremely heavy. 
It's locked. <laughs> We're locked out. Okay, now what? What are we gonna do? Eventually, someone let us in, and we could carefully start to assemble the doll. I hope this works. The head better turn, dude. While Cordova did the final touches on the engine, it was time to put the doll together for the first time. Here we go. A moment of truth. Hopefully, it works. You gotta wiggle the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm like. I can't bring it down. It's not really fitting. Here, your size needs to go up just a little bit. We can go down. Push. All right, we have to take it down because our game plan wasn't working. This is our first time standing it. And it's not really fitting. Our cuts were a little off, so we had to force the leg in, which should easily crack the foam. Do you guys hear the foam squeaking? We're risking breaking this thing right now. We were eventually able to get the leg in without harming the doll, but we have to hurry. Jimmy will be here in five minutes. We gotta hurry up. Time to install the arms and the head. We need tape. This is loose. Just got a text message. Jimmy will be here in three minutes and the arm isn't fitting. Yo, I need the tape. Where are the guys with that tape? We need to hurry. Let's go. Okay. Jimmy's gonna be here in two minutes. Is this gonna work? I hope so. The arms are in now for the final piece. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Imagine if we drop it. You got it? Be careful. Dude, that's so freaking tall. We good? Now for the most stressful part, to see if the head rotates. Red light! And it works! Stop it! That's sick, guys. Real tall. Now that we have it standing up, we're not gonna let anybody know that there's a remote and think it moves on its own. <laughs> <laughs> we program it to only listen to your voice. Red light. <laughs> no way. This spins by itself. That's awesome. After days of nonstop work, we met the crazy deadline, and now it's time to surprise Mr. Beast and get his reaction. Okay, so prep me. What am I about to see? Something about double your height. Double my height. Yeah. Okay. And so. 18 feet, right? <laughs> Maybe not that big. It's hard to reach the deadline. I mean, he told me it was kind of like the Squid Game doll. So are you ready for this? I am. I don't want to let you down. Okay. I know it's it, a big video for you. There's this, we're just doing it. Should we do it? Sure, you just, literally just walked in, this is easy. <laughs> okay, you lead the way. Are you ready for this? Uh, I am. You can also see a lot of our Squid Game stuff in here too. All right. Holy crap, that looks terrifying. You like it? Yeah, it's just that looks scary. <laughs> It, that's hilarious. Could you imagine coming home and just seeing this in your house? I like it. Wait, does the neck turn or what's that? Thing? Yeah, it actually does. Ben, can you turn it on real quick? Is it on? So now if you say red light or green light, the head will turn. Uh, red light. Wow. How did you do that? I can't tell you that. Green light. Yo, that's actually really cool. Okay, I did not think you were gonna do that. Wait, what, what if you go red light, green light? Really? <laughs> Yo, I thought that was gonna trip it up. Yo, wait, what? Yeah, that's How, what we do. Okay, that's like some Mark it. Rover stuff. I wanna like pull on and test the durability for fun. Can we let you down or we... No, we this is cool. In our Squid Game video, you'll see this bad boy in the background. Green light. <laughs> I never get told. We actually have bad news though. What? It's actually remote controlled. And the whole time he was pressing the button. I figured. Some <laughs> witchcraft. I just thought it I still figured. I, when I did the red light, green light, play that back, there was a little doubt. I was like, there's no way they rigged this up. Something's going on. All right, well, thank you, man. First, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I have a 12 foot doll now. We should probably walk away so it doesn't fall on you, too. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to die.